12 ounce curls, how about 24? Hey everybody, welcome back to the AR15.com YouTube channel. My name is Matt, the hostess with the mostest. Our Silencer Shop Authority program brings us OSS suppressors today. This is their HXQD338TI suppressor. I'm guessing the TI stands for titanium. This is one of the larger cans that I've actually tested. If you all want to stick around and continue to support AR15.com so they can continue to feed me that wild caught salmon, I can get more suppressors in for testing. I have a feeling that we need to get our hands on a 50 cal or 50 BMG suppressor at some point. Gotta get a hold of one of those. As with all of our tabletop reviews, we like to go over the basic specifications right off the bat so we have them at your fingertips. Our HXQD is 9.1 inches long. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is 23.4 ounces in weight. The OD diameter is approximately 1.75 inches with the largest OD measuring about 1.830 at the rear here. Our through hole is 449 thousandths. We are caliber rated up to 408 shy tack I'm sure if I said that wrong, someone will drop a comment below and correct me. The sealized portion of the suppressor is the outer tube towards the muzzle. There are no barrel length restrictions on this suppressor. It is full auto rated. 17.4 stainless steel and grade 5 titanium components make up the 338Ti. Our QD muzzle brake options are in varying thread patterns. Our HXQD is a sealed can and is non-user serviceable, meaning that you can't take it apart. But per the OSS videos, you can soak them in a cleaning solution for a few days and then blow all the crud out the front end. MSRP from Silencer Shop is approximately $1,600 dues. What makes the OSS suppressors unique is that unlike traditional suppressors, they don't use baffles. There are a series of internal coils and deflectors that when the bullet passes through and the gases come behind it, the gas is redirected a few times forward and then backwards and then eventually straight out the front. We use a fair bit of fair use here and grab OSS's 3D SOLIDWORKS rendering of how that all works so you guys can have a clear cut and dry example. Since gases are directed out of the front, that means less gas to your face, your friend's face, and inside your host weapon. Now, if you are running a bolt gun, all of that is less of a concern, but if you were running the Mjolnir from Sword International, that's gonna mean less port pop and less gases to have to clean out of the inside of your gun. Our host for this review is our Ruger Precision Magnum in obviously 338 Lapua Magnum or Lapua or Winnie the Pooh like I called it in one of my other videos, again with the pronunciation memes. We have a Browning MPO 5 to 25 up here in an ADM mount. Originally, I was concerned about felt recoil on this system because the factory brake is this huge cast two port brake. But surprisingly, adding system weight with the suppressor and muzzle brake, I felt that recoil was less than what it was when firing full power loads with the factory brake. Our muzzle brake is easy to mount and does not require any timing. OSS was nice enough to machine some flats on varying sides of this muzzle brake, so that means you, you can get good torque on this guy when mounting it. The can mounts very easily to the QD mount. It is left-hand threads. OSS does include a pictograph on the body of the suppressor to help you know which way you're going. OSS does include a set of wrench flats on the rear of the can. I fired approximately maybe 100, 125 rounds of 338 Lapua through this test and probably 45 or 50 rounds of that was testing subsonics, but when we were firing full power ammunition, I was firing a few shots, uh, three or four at a time, and the suppressor never came loose at all when I just hand tightened it, so that's really good that that shoulder on the QD brake locks up very nicely with the can. I did notice approximately a four to six MOA shift in our point of impact 
can versus no can at approximately 200 yards. But that can be pretty host dependent. You know, you can have a different barrel thickness and your barrel could be more rigid than mine, but you are sticking a two pound, almost a two pound object on the end of the gun. So you are bound to get just a little bit of dip in that barrel. I don't have easy access to a sound meter, but OSS claims approximately 134 to 138 decibels using heavier supersonic ammunition. Anything under 140 decibels is considered hearing safe and I've had a few people come in and comment herp derp why you're still wearing ear pro but fail to realize that you're still doing damage to your hearing over time even if it's quote unquote hearing safe. So I still want to be able to hear the birds chirp every once in a while so I'm going to continue to wear my ear pro when I'm shooting suppressed. As I mentioned earlier we did shoot some subsonic ammunition through our 338 Lapua. I used some 250 grain spear grand slams and some of the Lehigh Defense 240 grain flash tips. It's all copper with a little titanium tip on there. Really good for spotting hits on steel targets when you shoot them at range. We had good stability out to 200 yards. As far as overall quietness goes, they were subsonic verified with the chronograph. I think the larger projectile and the double amount of power behind them made them a little less quieter than when we tested our jumbo shrimp in 6.5 millimeter on our 6 and 6.5 Creedmoor. OSS's flow through design definitely perks the coolness factor and is a departure from components typically one finds in modern suppressors. If you want to see any of the other cans reviewed, you know the drill. Feverishly drop the comment below at a rapid pace to test that NP rollover. I see they have a 22 rimfire can that's rated for 5.7, so that's definitely piqued my interest to try on our P90 SBR, as well as some of our other 5.7 hosts, especially subsonic. As we begin to close, we must sit down and lean back and take a moment to thank everyone. After all, we need a lot more positivity in this world, too much negativity. First and foremost, we'd like to thank the Silencer Shop Authority Program, OSS Suppressors in this case, and the AR15.com YouTube channel sponsor, which is TNVC. They make all the night vision gear, so when there's that bump in the night, you can see that other guy real good. And of course, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you felt that I've got something wrong, or feel I could do something better next time, always drop the comments below, or hit the like, or even dislike button, because that engagement helps our YouTube channel grow. I have to go now. I have to go contemplate why I'm going to kick up into a handstand and repeatedly bash my head into the ground doing handstand push-ups. Until next time, we'll catch you at the range, and remember, we love you.